And hello guys, this is Wukash and as part of our series of interviews uh, called Subtitles in the Spotlight, we have the privilege today to be joined by a subtitler, Kali Witkowska. Hello Kali. Hi. Uh, Kali is actually a bit of a celebrity as a subtitler and some of you might have heard about her already. Uh, but to give a brief introduction, Kali is an audiovisual translator. Uh, you're based in Scotland uh, and you have a focus on subtitling for the deaf and hard of hearing. You hold an MA in Spanish and Applied Language Studies from Harriet Ward University and an MA in audiovisual translation from the University of Roehampton. That's actually a very well-known university in terms of audiovisual translation. There are lots of people who graduated uh, from there. And uh, I had a look at your LinkedIn profile. So you've been a freelance subtitler and a translator since uh, 2016. And you have uh, had the chance to work on major titles uh, with media outlets worldwide. Uh, you're a passionate SDH trainer and has taught at various institutions. And since 2020, you're also the freelance English language manager at Plint, which is a language service provider, one of the leading ones actually, and is based in, in Sweden. And it, on one of your profiles, you say, with expertise in subtitle creation, quality control, and template file preparation authoring, I'm committed to providing the best possible viewing experience for the deaf and hard of hearing communities and um, so that's Kali and I imagine that as a subtitler you have lots of work and you have a hectic schedule as most subtitles do so what do you do to decompress when you do find some free time I love to cook so anytime I can get a new recipe to try I love to spend hours kind of making those and I also as a new mum just love getting to spend as much time with my son as I can. Um, like you say, I've got a hectic schedule, so trying to juggle it all does um, become quite difficult. But any given, any time that I can spend with him, I, that's that's what I love to do the most. Sure. Now that you mentioned being a parent and, and uh, your son, I'm wondering, um, is subtitling a good profession if one wants to be a parent or is it difficult to combine this with parenting in your opinion? I mean, I, I've been incredibly lucky, I think, because I can choose how I want to schedule my days and my weeks and I can make time to, uh, to look after my son in the week, for example, where some people would be working a nine to five and couldn't have that, that time with their children. So I'm, I'm lucky that I, I'm in charge of um, the time that I do spend with him and so at the moment I'm kind of have my set day where I work all day and the, there's other days where I perhaps would work in the evening and have my son all day so it's just about navigating it in the way that suits you best but we're very lucky to have that privilege. Supposedly every mother loves all their children equally but as audiovisual translators we work with lots of audiovisual content and we have our favourites so uh, surely you have your own favorite films or series? Yeah, definitely. Growing up, I always loved Back to the Future. It's just one of those films that seems so strange now because the, when they go to the future, we've already had that year now. <laughs> but it, it, it just is it's one of those, like, those things that's just so nostalgic for me. Also, I grew up in the era where Harry Potter was like the biggest franchise that there was. So aside from those, I also love Marvel. I'm a sucker for a superhero film. And so I have seen all of them. Um, and aside from that, funnily enough, my probably my favorite TV show to watch it was actually Stranger Things. Uh, so that that's always exciting when you get to work on something like that. 